Okay. In this video, the previous continuation of uh, uh, arithmetic with floating point numbers, already we have seen the basic thing about addition and subtraction, where we have to adjust the mantisa to be the same. Uh, sorry, not mantisa. Of course, mantisa has to be uh, adjusted, but the exponent should be same. We have to normalize the uh, value, both uh, the value which is for addition and subtraction. There must be two values for addition and two must be for subtraction. We have to check whether the exponent part of the both the values are same. If not, we have to make it same. In order to do that, we adjust the mantisa part uh, by moving the decimal point and then accordingly we make the exponent to be same and then we carry over the addition and subtraction. Now we'll see the algorithm. In order to do whatever we have seen, how you can do it in an algorithm and in a quadrant. That's what we are going to see. First, we have to check for zeros. What is check for zero? There are two values, one in AC and one in BR resistance. So we have to check whether both, the, both of them have values. If they have values only, you can do addition or subtraction. Or else, if, any, if both are zero, there is no need for addition or subtraction. But if any one of them are having values and the others is zero, then the result is the same. That is, uh, say if, if the data is in AC, then uh, the value is same. The, the value which is present in AC will be the result. If it is present in BR, the result is present, the, uh, the value, the result is present in BR. So uh, there is no need for any subtraction or addition. Only one value is that, that is the answer. Then after checking that, we have to align the mantisa. That's what we have seen. Both the mantisa has to, has to be, any one of the mantisa has to be adjusted. And accordingly, the exponent also has to be adjusted. Then do add or subtraction the mantisa part. Then normalize the result. Then check. That's what we have to do. So before going through, we'll see the register part. It has, the register can be represented like this. Here, A, B, Q. These are all the exponent parts. Okay, B, A, Q are the exponent part of the register. B, R register is that. A, C register is there, and Q, R register. Now, the first bit, the most significant bit represents the sine bit, and this represents the exponent part, and this represents the this, uh, all these things represent the uh, mantis of part. And E is a flip-flop where it will hold the, uh, if there is an overflow, when there is an addition and there will be an overflow, this uh, E register will have a one. Now we'll see the algorithm, okay? So initially we check the BR registers, whether it is equal to zero or not. If zero, then uh, it's over. So what happened? Uh, if there is no addition or nothing there. Then if it is not equal to zero, that is some value is in BR, then we check for AC, whether data is present in AC. If it is equal to zero, then what we do? If, if this has some value, so for example, BR is having some value. Five. Imagine. And AC is having zero. Then what happens? That's what. When it is not equal to zero, we check for this. And let us say it is zero. So in that case, we move the value because AC is equal to our accumulator. Intermediate result will be held in that. So that we are this five is moved to accumulator. And then what we do here, we check the operation, whether it is an addition or subtraction. If it is addition, then what we do, we just, uh, because five plus zero is five. So we move that and we, the result will be displayed. But if it is subtraction, then what is we have to do? We have to find the net uh, complement of, well, because it is we are minus accumulator. So what, uh, sorry, accumulator is zero. So it is zero minus five mean negative value. That's so why here we find the complement and then we, with that we end. If both are having value, okay, say some example, if BR, BR is consisting of five, okay, 
and the AC consist of three. Let us imagine. And let us say both are positive. Okay. Now, now here it comes. And then uh, we check what is the mantissa part. Say, for example, here mantissa is three. And mantissa is, so let us say it's same three. Here, this is a S. It must be a floating point. Okay. So 0.5 and 0.3 into 10 to the power 3. Here we check. If both of, let us say this condition, both are equal. Here it is both are equal. So what happened? Directly it goes to what operation? Whether it is subtraction or addition. Suppose this is some four. Imagine it is some four. Okay. So some four. So in that case, BR is uh, BR exponent is B and AC exponent is A. Okay. So A is less than B here. A is less than B. No, A is greater than B in this case. So now what we do, we have to consider shifting of this one. We have to make this to be equal to four. So shift right B. We have to take care of this. Shift right B. So this value is shifted right. And so what happens? Point zero. Okay. So it is this five is shifted right. Previously it was point. Now by putting zero, this value is shifted right. So now what happened? It becomes 10 power 4. Okay, now it has made equal to this. Then now again it goes that. Why it is again and again checking? Suppose this has the value 6. Imagine. Okay, now what we have to do? We have to move, we have to add two more digits, isn't it? Three places it has to be shifted. So for that, this repetition will work. Each time it checks whether it is equal to B. If A equal to B only, the next, it will consider whether it is a sub, uh, subtraction or addition. So here, if it is less than, then the A is adjusted. Okay, if it is small, the smaller value is adjusted. So for example, if this is six and this is three, means this will be adjusted so that it becomes equal to six, 10 power six, that's what. So these two loop will do that, take care of that. Okay, now what happened? Now let us say both the bandits are adjusted. Now here we have come. What operation it is, whether it is a plus operation or subtraction. Now for subtraction, suppose imagine you have I, let us uh, leave the mantis apart. Okay, here itself it has been adjusted. So we'll directly go to the addition of subtraction. So here let us say it is 0.513, imagine, something like that, or 53. For easy thing, I, have, I am taking only the full value. Okay, not a presentation. So demonstration. 5 and 3. Let us imagine we have positive 5 and positive 3. So when both the value, both the sign bit are same, okay, according to XOR, here we are doing the XOR of the sign bit. AS is nothing but sign bit, the first bit. Okay, suppose I want to represent 3 here, mean the first bit will be positive or it will represent positive or negative. Then the remaining bit only represent the value of 3, same way for here. Here, let us say for a positive sign, it, it will be the sign bit will be zero. For a negative, it will be one. Okay. So let us take five and three. Let us consider both the positive. So according to XOR, what happens when uh, both the both sign bit? Here we are doing uh, XOR with sign bit. So let us say AS and BS. Okay, sign it. When both are zero, the output will be zero. Zero, one, it is one. One, zero means also it is one. When both are one, it is zero. That is when both are positive, the sign bit is, zero. the output will be zero. XR output will be zero. When both are negative also, the output will be zero. 
when there is a chain one is negative and one is positive then only you will have a output as one that is the xor output here we have applied that for the checking of sign type so when there is a difference in the sign one will be there okay now it comes here but when there is both the sign are same then here it comes so if it is equal to zero here it comes ea equal to a is the uh, overflow flip flops along with the overflow flip flop what we have what we are doing when both are five and this is a subtraction so what we'll do you will do the subtraction so how you will be doing five minus three we both are positive but here you are doing subtraction so five minus three you will how you will do five then three plus one isn't it one two's complement you will find for three and then you will add that is what here we are doing okay now the next one is e here we are checking whether the overflow bit by while adding whether any overflow is produced uh, in that case if it is zero then what you do is a equal to a bar plus one then uh, you find the sign bit you are reversing the sign bit because whatever you find is a negative number in two's complement so you find the two's complement and then you reverse the in order to get the uh, magnitude you to make the sign bit also you find complement of the sign bit then if it is equal to one then here you check if it is uh, a is equal to 1 then you check whether a is having value 0 or uh, not 0 now in which case uh, if it is 0 the accumulated value is 0 then you make a is equal to 0 else it has some value means now you come here and you check a1 this is for underflow checking because so for example if it is like that if you have the result after the uh, subtraction you have like that just now we have seen in the previous uh, slide what's it see here when you subtract you may have this point you know, this condition we check it as underflow so in which case what happened that is what here we are checking so, a yes is sign bit the next bit is a1 that we are checking whether it is equal to one or not if it is equal to zero which means we have to move the uh, we have to move this point here okay and then what we have to do since we are moving this way you have to reduce the decrement the exponent that's what here we are doing see here move this towards left okay that means uh, which is left this point, point 0.4 after this, this is point 0.4. Okay, which means the four you are moving towards left, moving towards this decimal point. That is the meaning. So SHL. That's why it is SHL. So after this moving towards left, this point is moved here. Okay, and then you decrement if it is four, then you have to make it as three. Decrement that. That's what here has been taken care. Else. That is the end. That's all. End the algorithm. Now we will see if the this this happens only when both the uh, sign bit are same. When both are positive, even if it is negative. Imagine here you have negative. In which case, what you will be doing? You will be minus and plus. Minus and plus. Okay. Minus into minus plus. So again, you do subtraction minus five and three in that case also here it will come and you will find that this complement and then etc okay now suppose one means both the values are different uh, uh, sign bit is different one is positive and one is negative suppose minus five and plus three suppose this is the condition now here you want to subtract so how in that case it comes here okay now we'll see the addition then we'll see here now add so when what happens here when it comes when it both are one that is when the sign are different 
simply you will add these two. So minus 5 plus 3, it is minus 2. And then you check for the, since you are doing, you will be checking for overflow. So E, if it is 1 means it is some overflow has occurred. Or else 0 means nothing has occurred. So the same result. So that's why here N. But if it is 1 means you have to adjust. That's what we have seen in our overflow condition. See here. Overflow. What you will do? You will bring this one here and move this decimal point here. So when you move the decimal point towards left, you have to increase the exponent. That's what here we do. So when you move, uh, when it is 1, that means overflow has occurred. You have to adjust to bring this overflow into A. So what you do is shift right A. Now you are moving towards uh, A. The value is A. And then what the value in E, which is nothing but 1, is moved to A1 bit. Okay. So here, A1 bit. So this is moved towards right. Whatever value it is moved towards right. So that one space is left. In that, the value in E is moved. And then you decrement the value of, uh, sorry, increment the value of exponent. Okay. Here the same thing. Yeah. Uh, because of this one, this will go. That is A equal to A plus B. And in addition also the same thing. While here, uh, you check for the difference in the sine wave. And if it is both are one, that is uh, if the output is one, means one is minus and one is under this, naturally you'll be finding the uh, complement and then you do okay but if both are same zero zero or one one both sign both signs are same then you'll be doing addition and then uh, check for overflow etc 